All right, this is the Daisy Airstrike 240 software BB gun. This is a remake on my previous video because I missed quite a few different things and it was way too long. Well, that's what I thought. So anyways, I'll jump right into it here. This is the gun, this is the magazine, 88 BB magazine. It just uses the regular Airsoft BBs, right? So to load the magazine, you just open that up like that and stick your BBs in. And then I'll just show you this right now. This is what feeds the BBs into the gun. You pull it back all the way until it clicks. And then you just kind of shake. The BBs you get loaded right there. And then you push it back and you'll see it actually kind of... There we go. So now there's a spring that's pushing up on those. And you get feeded in, into the gun through this little hole here. So anyways, that's that. I'll just unload that for now. There we go. Uh, just stick it back in the gun. The other thing I'll show you is uh, what was it again oh yeah uh, I think it's called a field it's called field stripping your gun and basically say you get a jam in here that you can't clear up with a lot of other guns you'd have to take the gun apart with this one here you just push this orange thing here and then this thing should tilt over like that 90 degrees and your orange thing will come right out the other side keep this handy because you'll need it in a second oh, when you're putting it back together and then you can just pull this thing out like that, and then just push forwards on your gun, and the whole top of it pops off. So this is great if you want to, if the BBs get jammed and you need to clear them out. And then to put it back on, this is the part that's always a little bit harder. Just go like that, and just have to wiggle it back on there, and it's good to go. And then you just reverse the steps for putting it back together. Oh. There we go. So that's that, you have your safety over here. So you can put the safety on. You pull this, oh, sorry, pull this thing here, all the way back, shake it, push it back, and then to cock the gun, basically getting it ready to shoot, pull back and let up, and this thing is back. That means your gun's cocked. And I obviously have the safety on now, but you take the safety off, and it shoots. So, I'll just tilt you up here to the target. Zoom in a little bit. Oop, out a little bit. There we go. So, and this thing, as you saw, loads quite a few in there, so you can just basically cock it, shoot, cock it, shoot, cock it again. And I find with this gun, you want to aim a little bit up and a little bit to the right. It's the exact same, same with my brother's gun, he has the same one. Cock it again. And that's that. I'll just show you the sound it makes when it's out of BBs. There we go. So when it sounds like this, then you have to uh, kind of reload it here. And then you're good to go. Anyways, uh, let's go see how I did. So, let's see, there's one, actually two went over there, one went there, one went there, one went there. I was aiming around here, uh, and I've never actually aimed, I was aiming through the LCD screen. Usually I'd aim around there. Anyways, you can see if I aimed around there, all of them would be kind of in this general area. So, with a bit of practice, it can be super accurate. Uh, it doesn't have the best range. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions about the gun, just let me know. So, this is another target I just shot. These are where all of the BBs went. About three went right there, three went right there, one went right there, one there, two there, one there. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I shot about ten or so. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven or so. Anyways, this is where I was aiming up here. So as you can see, it really does shoot down and to the left, or to the right, sorry. Uh, for whatever reason, I guess, uh, not sure if it's the exact same with every single gun. You know, my, my brother's shoots down quite a ways. Not sure about which way it shoots so I'm pretty sure it shoots to the right as well though. So yeah, just you just have to aim a couple inches up, a couple inches over.
and then it should be pretty accurate as you can see here. And by the way, the one thing I didn't uh, tell you is I got mine at Walmart for uh, $30, and keep in mind that's in Canada. I know in the US you can probably get it for like $19.99 or so. So anyways, uh, that's just a basic overview of the Daisy Airstrike 240 Softer BB Gun.